Hello, welcome everybody. Hello. Hello, Mayra. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hello, Eric. Hi, guys, how are you? How is everything? How do you feel in your new English class today? Are you ready for your English class? Yes. Okay, that's good. Let's get started. Hey, for the first activity, I would like for us to introduce each other because I know that this is your first day. So I would like for us to start introducing each other. Uh, I want you to tell me your name. Uh, how old are you? Uh, where do you work? What do you do? Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, things like that. Do you understand? Yes? Okay. Who wants to go first? Who would like to be my first volunteer to get started? Hmm? One ball. Hello, Eric. Welcome. Hi, Carla Beatrice. Hello, Luis. Hello, Nelly. Hello, Carlos. Marvin, Rene, who would like to introduce themselves? Tell me, hello, my name is, I work at, tell me just a little bit about yourself just to introduce each other and get to know a little bit. Right, let me start myself. Hello guys, nice to meet you. My name is Ruben Santos. I am going to be your English teacher for this uh, program. I have been teaching for the past 15 years. I have a lot of experience in the English teaching area and it's going to be my pleasure to be working with you guys. I have two sons, one son, my na his name is Ruben and my other son's name is Romeo. I am 40 years old. In my free time, I like to do exercise and play sports. And when I have some, some more free time, I like to watch Netflix series. It's a pleasure to be with you and to meet all of you. Who would like to introduce themselves? One volunteer. Myra Garcia, would you like to introduce yourself, Myra? Don't be shy. Go ahead and unmute yourself. Hello, good night. Good evening, hello. Nice to meet you, Ruben. My name is Mayra. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where do you work? What do you do? If you have any hobbies, do you have any pets? Mayra? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Nos puede decir algo de usted? Hello, my, no, my name is Naira. Um, mm -hmm. I'm from Aguachapan. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, welcome, Mayra. Thank you for sharing. Uh, do you select somebody, Mayra? Somebody else? Select another student. Uh, 
Eh, Mayra, ¿puedes seleccionar un compañero del grupo? Um, ok. Veamos. Um. Eric Melara. Ok. Eric Melara puede compartir con nosotros acerca de su persona. Good evening. Good evening. Working a bank. Mm -hmm. I have 26 years old. And we say I have or I am. I have or I am. I am. I am. I am 26 years old. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's it. And, and what do you like to do on your free time? Um, I play video games. What is your favorite video game? Um, um, sports. Game, video game uh, sport. Do you like FIFA sports? Yes. Okay. Who is, what is your favorite soccer team? My favorite soccer team is uh, Barcelona. Barcelona. And who is your favorite soccer player? Uh, my favorite soccer soccer player is Lionel Messi. Okay, Lionel Messi. That's good. All right, go ahead. Select another participant. Marvin Antonio. Okay, Marvin Antonio. Can you please introduce yourself? Sure. Hello, everybody. My name is Marvin Ara. So I, I work with a, a bank that is a bank that is presided in Santa Ana City. Okay. So my hobbies, I would like to see movies and Netflix and um, go outside with my girl and my little boy. So I have a child to have four years old. And um, what else? <laughs> and my time is only work and um, and go outside with my wife. Okay. Well, that's very nice. Congratulations. Thank you. That's very good that you have a baby. Uh, go ahead, Marvin. Select another student. Sure. Um, maybe can you introduce Carlos? Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio, yes. Okay, go ahead, Carlos Antonio. Please share with us your name, where do you work, what do you do, your interests. Santa Ana City. Okay. Uh, I am working um, bank a bank. Uh, my uh, my favorite is a soccer player is Mike Gonzalez. Okay. Uh, the uh, And what do you like to do in your free time? Okay, I think we lost Carlos. His internet was probably 
disconnecting. Uh, let me have another participant, uh, Francisco Edgardo. Would you like to introduce yourself? Francisco Edgardo, please introduce yourself. Okay, we lost Francisco. Uh, Carla Yesenia, are you there? Uh, go ahead, unmute your microphone. It sounds like you are on mute. Hola, hola. Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead, good tell evening. us a little bit about yourself. Good evening, how are you? Um, hello, everybody. My name is Carla Estrada. I'm working in a bank. I'm from El Congo, Santana, and I am 28 years old. Um, my hobby is see the movies. Um, watch movies? I watch movies, pardon. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, and uh, what kind of movies do you like? What my kind? favorite movie? My favorite. Are... Okay. Right. Well, thank you, Carla, for sharing. Uh, let's continue with Luis Jose. Hello, Luis. Welcome. Uh, go ahead. Hi. Yes, you have. My name Hi. Is Hi. Hi, my name is Luis Ramirez. I live in Sonsonate. I work in Avan. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. Okay, you're very happy. And what do you like to do in your free time? Do you like to play video games, play basketball? Um, what do you um, like to games. do? Video games? What and what is your favorite video game? Yes. Oh, which video game do you um, like? Um, soccer. Soccer video games, FIFA sports. Soccer, yeah, FIFA as well. Yes. Okay, and you like to watch TV? Yes, and TV. Hey, what is your favorite TV show? Do you have a favorite TV show or movie? Like movie. Movies. Which movies yes. do you like? Action, drama, comedy, horror, romance. Action. Action movies. And action and romance. Ah, okay. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Um, okay, guys. Right now. What I need to do is um, I'm going to call out your attendance. Give me just a second because I need to make sure that everybody's here. Okay. So 
here we have Mayra Garcia, Carla Beatriz. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're going to do the uh, the attendance later at nine o'clock. Okay, guys, welcome. Uh, I would like to show you some basic functions of the platform. I would like for Arturo Monroy, Roxana Valladares, Nelly Lopez, Maybelline, and Daniel. I would like for everybody to turn on your cameras. I need for everybody to have your camera on. No cameras off in the class, please. No cameras off in the class, please, okay? This is for me to be monitoring you. I need for everybody to be attentive, for everybody to be paying attention and to be engaged in the class. So for the class time, we are going to have the cameras on, right? So that we can have visual contact. Uh, Arturo, please put on a shirt. Arturo, T-shirt, please. Arturo, put on a shirt. This is an English class. Pongámonos una camisa para la clase, por favor. Estos videos van para en Sephora. Así que queremos tener ropa puesta. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you some basic functions for the class. I'm going to show you how to raise your hand, levantar la mano. I would like for everybody to go at the bottom where it says participants. Do you see at the bottom where it says participants? Yes. I want you to, okay, I want you to click where it says participants and I want you to click on the three buttons, on the three dots. And there it's going to say levantar la mano or if you have it in English, raise hand. And you should have a blue hand appear there you go. Very good, Marvin. Everybody can see Marvin has his hand raised. Every okay, excellent, Eric. Okay, everybody, please raise your hand. Nelly, raise your hand. Luis Jose, raise your hand. Vamos a aprender cómo levantar la mano para que no estén así en la pantalla, sino que puedan levantar la manito. Como podemos ver, Marvin. Tiene su mano levantada, Eric también, Carla también. Quiero que todos levantemos la mano. Gracias, Arturo. Quiero que todos levantemos la mano. Ok, quiero ver las manitas azules que dicen raise hand. Sí, el, el thumbs up es otra función y también está el applause. Right now, I want to see raise hand. Francisco, raise your hand, please. Okay, everybody raise the hand. Uh, Maybelline, raise your hand. Okay. Raise your hand. Todos con la manito así, como tienen en azul. That is raise the hand. Raise the hand. Okay. Well, the majority of you raise the hand. Very good. Okay. Now, down your hand. Put down your hand. Put down your hand. Okay, Arturo, put down your hand. Luis, put down your hand. Put down your hands. Excellent, excellent. All right, now I'm going to show you how you are going to share your screen. You are going to go to the green button that says share screen, compartir pantalla. And you're going to share your screen like this. 
el botoncito que dice compartir pantalla. Denle en clic para que comparta su pantalla. All right, very good. Efraín Torres, excellent. Ok. Thank you. ¿Quién más? Share your screen. Todos tienen esta función. Eric Melara, excellent. Thank you. Ok, ¿alguien más? Share your screen. Okay, guys. Okay, very good, Marvin. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Esta función nos va a ayudar eh, cuando usted, yo le diga, vamos a trabajar en pareja. Okay, thank you, Arturo, for sharing your screen. Thank you. Very nice picture. Eh, cuando usted, yo le diga, vamos a trabajar en pareja y usted quiere compartir o comparar su trabajo, usted puede compartir la pantalla con su compañero, así como lo están haciendo. Carlos Antonio, excellent. Ok, para eso es esa función. All right. ¿Alguien más que quiera compartir la pantalla para practicar? Mauricio, Carlos. Ok. Now, we are going to be working from the student book, which is this student book. Thank you, Carla. Thank you. Ya podemos parar de compartir las pantallas. Eh, quiero anunciar que tienen que entrar, registrarse con su nombre completo. Full name. Okay, for example, Marvin, Antonio, Lara, right? I see your full name, Eric Melara, Nelly Lopez, all right, Maybelline. Okay, Maybelline solo puso Maybelline. Así que necesito que cuando usted entre eh, a la clase, usted tiene que entrar y escribir su nombre completo. Eso nos va a ayudar a nosotros a mantener un control de los alumnos que están asistiendo y participando en la clase. Eh, es muy importante que usted no falte su clase. Ok, usted es, es muy, muy importante que usted eh, se conecte a la hora de su clase. Solo son dos horas que vamos a estar acá trabajando. So, Necesitamos que todos mantengamos ese compromiso y respetemos el horario de la clase. All right. Usted habla allí con sus familiares. Dígale, mira, yo de esta hora a esta hora yo tengo mi clase de inglés. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque para que este proyecto funcione, necesitamos que ustedes estén conectados a la clase. Si ustedes no se conectan a la clase, este programa no va a funcionar. Y perdemos la oportunidad todos. Ok. So, queremos enfatizar eso. La importancia de que todos estemos conectados a la hora de la clase. All right. Eh, si usted por X razón va a llegar tarde, usted me puede escribir en el grupo del WhatsApp. Usted me manda un mensaje, teacher, mire, voy saliendo del trabajo, mire, teacher, estoy trabado en, la, en el tráfico, pero me voy a conectar con el phone. Eh, mire, teacher, fíjese que el niño tuvo en emergencia, pero aquí estoy, ok, mantener esa comunicación. ¿Por qué? Porque nosotros necesitamos evidenciar que usted está conectado a la clase. Ok. You understand? Do you understand? Ahora digamos que usted está en el super. Anda en el super. Es ok. Usted tiene su teléfono. Usted se pone su headset. 
y usted está conectado a la clase. Lo que yo necesito es que usted esté conectado, esté en el carro, esté en el súper, está haciendo la cola, le está cambiando el pamper al niño. It's okay. Pero tiene que estar conectado de 8 a 10. Do you understand? Preguntas, questions? No. Questions, questions? No questions? Ok. That is very important, guys. Ok. Todos hemos tomado este compromiso. Nosotros nos comprometemos con ustedes para enseñarles, pero necesitamos el compromiso de ustedes para conectarse. Remember, English is easy, but you gotta practice. Practice, practice, practice. Every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right? You have to connect. Uh, la persona que se conectó con LG Styles 3. Necesito su nombre, por favor. Elmer Neftalí Juárez Ramos. Elmer Neftalí, Neftalí Juárez Juárez. Ramos. Juárez Ramos. Ok, guys, es muy importante que no se conecten así. Necesitamos que todos se registren para su asistencia, porque si no, no va a aparecer como su, no va a aparecer su asistencia. All right. Ok, ok. So, si, ok, gracias, Elmer. La próxima vez necesito que ponga su nombre completo, por favor. Perfecto. Ok, thank you. Vamos a empezar. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta en este momento? Questions right now? Questions right now? No, teacher. No. Okay. Thank you, Roxana, for responding. Oh. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be looking at the student book. Now, on the student book, everybody should have access to the student manual beginner. It says on the platform, Inglés Corporativo, you're going to go where it says Inglés Principiante Modulo 4. Students Manual Beginner. ¿Todos tienen el acceso? Everybody has access? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So I want you to, I want us to go over this section to the learner. Welcome to module four of the beginner level. This set of worksheets will accompany you throughout 56 hours, well, in this case, 40 hours of instruction. From day one, you will acquire the competencies that are necessary to communicate successfully in your workplace. All activities are oriented to develop listening comprehension, speaking, reading, writing, pronunciation, grammar, and vocabulary skills. You will also see some suggested websites for extended practice on your own in your free time. So, esas páginas web, yo se las voy a ir dando. Pero ahí están en el libro. Vamos a trabajar en unas, en unas sí, en unas no. Pero ahí van a estar las páginas. Congratulations for being a part, a participant of this course. And for giving your best to become competent in the English language. Right? So, in order for you to become competent in the English language, you have to connect to the class every day, Monday through Friday. You have to be connected on the class from 8 to 10, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay? Please do not, uh, for whatever reason, miss the class. It's very important that you connect to the class. Now, the topics that we're going to be looking at in module four are going to be purchasing and storing, right? Compras y almacenamiento, online orders 
and refunds, pedidos en línea y reembolsos. Customer service, servicio al cliente. Accounting, contabilidad. So these are going to be the, the four main topics that we are going to be learning in this module. So for this activity, I would like for us to go to the first section, which is coming from page number nine. And I would like for us to look at this vocabulary right here. Everybody repeat after me, size. 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 I want you to notice the pronunciation of the letter Z. Everybody imagine that you are a B and you say Z. Like a B, right? You say Z. Repeat. Size. 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 Right, right. It's like a B, like size. Size. Next one. The next one. Repeat. Wait. 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 Now the pronunciation is very similar to the word wait. It means espérate. Wait. Right. Hay gente que dice a. Hey, Wait a minute. Wait a minute, right? Esperate un minuto. Wait a minute. So this pronunciation Wait is the minute. same. Wait. So lo que es peso. Wait. Uh, the next one, repeat. Price. 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 Next one. Dimensions. 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 It's very important that you don't say dimensions. It's dimensions. Not, it's, it's it's not dimensions. It's di di dimensions. 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 Right? Like dimensions. Di Dimensions. 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 Yes. The next one, repeat. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Excellent. The next one. Storage. 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 Por ahí estoy escuchando e storage. Estoy escuchando e storage, right? No es e storage. Es storage. Right, como cuando dice Sylvia, storage, storage, sano, right, is storage, solo no lleva una E, storage, storage, now the next one, the next one, function, Function. function. Right? No, function. You don't say function. No. Function. 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 Uh -huh. Function. 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 That's right. Function. No function. No. Function. Function. That's right. That's right. Now, the next one. Repeat, please. Warranty. 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 Excellent. Okay, one more time. 
one more time. Repeat, please. Size. Size. Weight. Size. Weight. Weight. Price. Price. Dimension. Dimension. Okay, now for this activity, what I want you to do is you are going to read, you are going to read the definitions and you are going to identify the word. For example, number one, measurements or proportions of some kind. Measurements or proportions of some kind. What um, vocabulary words from the list is measurements or proportions of some kind? Who can tell me? Number four. four. Number four. Dimensions. 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 So what you're going to do is you're going to write the number right here. For example, this one is number four. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. 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 Okay. Teacher. So we're going to match dimensions with yes. Carla, do you have a question? No question. Carla? No? Somebody? Carla Beatriz? No question. No? Nobody has a question at this moment. Okay. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and I would like for you to work in pairs. In pairs. Okay. After that, we are going to work together and we are going to check the answers. Any questions at this moment? No questions? Okay. I'm going to give you 10 minutes. 10 minutes to identify the answers to the questions. All right. All right, let me see here. Everybody has their names. Todos tienen su nombre correctamente. Okay, guys, acuérdese que cuando ingresa a la clase, tiene que escribir su nombre completo. Porque si no escribe su nombre, no se le va a registrar su asistencia. Do you understand? Quiero ver Francisco, Yesenia, Maybelline, Carlos, Diego, Daniel, Jesse, Carla, Elmer, Mauricio, Roxana, Arturo, Carla, Nelly, Eric, Myra, Luis y Marvin. Ok, perfect. Así como estamos ahorita, estamos conectados 20 alumnos. Así tenemos que estar todos los días. Do you understand? ¿Qué quiere, ¿Qué quiere decir todos los días? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 
Friday. Ya iba a decir Saturday. Pero Saturday y Sunday no van a haber clases. Solo Monday through Friday. Ok. Es very important, guys. Es muy importante. El inglés es como cuando tú vas al gym. ¿Alguien practica gym aparte de mí aquí? ¿Alguien hace gym? ¿Nobody? Solo yo. No. Ok. Nobody. El gym, no. ¿cómo, no. Funciona, ¿Cómo funciona el gym? El gym tiene que ser algo que tú lo haces constante. constante. That's right. Porque ¿qué pasa si tú pierdes un día? Y al siguiente día es como que, ah, ay, solo ahora, no, mañana sí. Llega mañana y dices, no, ahora tampoco, mañana tal vez. Y así vas, right? So, y, y aquí es más, más, eh, más difícil agarrar el hilo. ¿Por qué? Porque cuando tú ya estás en ese hilo, boom, nosotros vamos a seguir moviéndonos. Todos los días vamos a aprender nuevo vocabulario, grammar, pronunciation, listening and speaking, storytelling, eh, workplace activities. O sea, every day we're going to learn new things. So, con un día, con un solito día que tú no asistas la clase, el siguiente día... ¿Qué estoy haciendo acá? ¿Qué están haciendo? No sé. ¿Qué está haciendo? Teacher, no sé. Fíjese que, right? Y ya, ahí ya después ya es caos completo. So, para evitar todo eso, conéctese. Como dicen, quédate en casa y conéctate a la clase. Hashtag, quédate en clase, conéctate a la clase. Va, solo esa parte nos faltó. So, para evitar que se nos pierdan o que estén confundidos, no pierda su clase, por favor. All right. Vamos a hacer un grupo del WhatsApp. En ese grupo ustedes van a poder comunicarse unos con el otro. Van, van a tener contacto directo a mi persona como su teacher. Van a tener contacto a los auxiliares de técnico, de apoyo técnico. Si usted dice, mire, no encuentro mi password de la plataforma. Mire cuál es el enlace de la clase, no la encuentro. Eh, teacher estaba haciendo esta pregunta, no la entendí. O sea, el, el, el uso del WhatsApp es para eso. Eh, tratemos de evitar, guys, uh, mandar a los grupos de WhatsApp cadenas de mensajes. Right. Yo sé que por en veces en el trabajo le mandan un comunicado y de ahí se lo manda el otro y el otro y el otro y el otro. No queremos evitar eso, no queremos saturar el, el, el grupo del WhatsApp. Eh, también no queremos, eh, si usted va a mandar eh, imágenes que no tienen nada que ver con la clase, right. yo sé que hay, uh, hay chistes y cosas así, pero no vamos a hacer nada de eso. Okay. El, el chat de la clase va a ser estrictamente para la clase. Ok. No, no estemos, digamos que usted le dijeron una historia, le mandaron un, un chiste o whatever. Evitemos todo eso, por favor. ¿Por qué? Porque es un grupo académico y lo queremos mantener de esa forma. Con respeto, eh, con amor y cariño. Right, así lo queremos, mantener esa tranquilidad y la paz para que haya armonía en el grupo. Ahora, si un alumno le pide ayuda y usted ya hizo el ejercicio y usted tiene la voluntad de apoyarle a ese compañero, lo puede hacer. Digamos que el alumno le manda, manda un mensaje al grupo, yo estoy ocupado, y, y usted dice, sí, yo ya lo hice. Boom, usted le toma la foto y se lo manda a su grupo, a su, a su, a su compañero. No hay ningún problema con eso. Yo de igual manera estoy viendo todo eso y si yo veo algo, yo lo voy a, lo voy a, le voy a decir, ok, es así, no es así o lo que sea. All right. Pero para eso es el grupo del WhatsApp. Ok. Bueno, vamos a empezar. of trabajar in pairs. 
Let's go. Tiene que darle clic al botoncito que le aparece que dice ingresar sesión pequeña o ingresar grupo pequeño. Ahí le tiene que aparecer en el centro de la pantalla. All right, veo que no ha ingresado Yesenia, Beatrice. No ha ingresado Jason Bautista. Jason. Yesenia Beatrice. Tienen que ingresar. I guess these people are not connected, Yesenia and Jason. Yesenia, are you there?
Do you have turned off the chair? Sorry about that. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, guys. So we already, uh, I noticed that the majority finished the activity. So I would like for us to do it together as a class. Can I have one volunteer, please? One volunteer, please. One volunteer, raise your hand. All right, Marvin Antonio raised your hand. Uh, Marvin, please read number one for me. Number one is a size or a letter A? Letter A, please. Okay, letter read, A. Read for me. Letter A is dimension, that is measurement or proportion of some kind. Excellent. So that is number four, is correct. Select somebody, Marvin, for letter B. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Francisco Lopez? Francisco Lopez, letter B. Okay, Francisco Lopez, no está. Select somebody else. Okay, uh, Diego Rios. Diego Rios, letter B. Diego Rios. Hello. Hey, Diego Rios, letter B, please. No, yes. hizo la B? No. A promise. Repeat, Diego. A promise. Promise. To repair, replace, replace something with something, something with our within within period of time. Period of time. Okay. Quién me puede dar la respuesta de la letter B? Somebody give me the answer, please. It's eight. Letter eight, number eight is correct. That is the warranty. Okay, guys, ya son las nueve. Así que vamos a hacer la attendance. We're going to take the attendance. So, para eso voy a, nom nom voy a estarles llamando el nombre. Eh, uno por uno, porque necesitamos evidenciar los que estamos acá. Give me one second. Esto está aquí. Ok, vamos a empezar con el primero. Eh, ya está hecho el 20 es hoy, ¿verdad? Oh, ya están. Ah, como se ingresaron con los nombres, ¿verdad? Por eso ya están acá. Ok, ah, pues solamente voy a darle seguimiento. Eh, los que están ausentes. Yesenia Beatriz, ausente. Aquí estoy. Ok, aquí está. Quiero verla. ¿Quién dijo aquí estoy? Ah, ok, vaya. Ah, pues aquí le vamos a poner un... Estuvo conmigo. Ok, ahorita vamos a ponerle un uno. El estrés para la asistencia es uno. Ok. Este es uno. Ok. 
Eh, Diego Wilfredo. Diego Wilfredo, presente o ausente. Presente. Diego Wilfredo, ok. Presente. Ok, Javier Alexander, presente o ausente. Javier Alexander. Javier Alexander, ¿a dónde está Javier? Javier Alexander está ausente, ok. El siguiente, Claudia Esther Ramos. Claudia Esther Ramos. Ausente, Claudia Esther Ramos, ok. Patricia Yamilet. Patricia Yamilet. También está ausente. Ok, tenemos a tres personas ausentes. Ok, guys, necesitamos que todos estén presentes. El último es Erenia Ivet. Erenia Ivet. Presente o ausente. Erenia Ivet. Ok, ausente. Ok. Este control, guys, lo vamos a estar haciendo todos los días. Porque necesitamos evidenciar que nos estamos conectando a la clase. Ok, so, para esa razón vamos a pasarle la asistencia de esta forma. Obviamente cuando usted ingresa a la clase, usted tiene que registrarse con su nombre completo. Acuérdese que si usted lo deja solo con su número de teléfono, el sistema no le va a leer que está registrado en la clase. Como vieron, todos los que tenían uno, quiere decir que ingresaron con su nombre completo. Por eso el sistema les, les automáticamente les puso un uno, que quiere decir que están presentes. Pero si le hubieran puesto otra cosa, le hubiera parecido un cero, como vimos en el caso de, de Yesenia, que no le registró el nombre, le salía ausente. Ok, so por esa razón, por favor, pongan sus nombres. ¿Ok? Para evitar ese, ese inconveniente. Now, we're going to go to the activity. So, we were looking at uh, the first one here. This one was number four. And this one was number eight. eight. That's right. Now let me have Carla Beatriz, letter C. Letter C is battery life, a measure of battery performance and longevity. That is correct. A measure of battery performance and longevity, which is letter number five. All right, select somebody, Carla. Um, Francisco Edgardo Lopez. Francisco Edgardo Lopez. Francisco Edgardo Lopez. Quítale el silencio a su micrófono, Don Francisco. Don Francisco. Quítale el silencio al micrófono, Don Francisco. Tiene que darle clic al micrófono. Ahí está. Ok, Don Francisco, letter D. ¿Cuál es su respuesta? Ok, Don Francisco, no lo escuchamos. A thing's overall dimensions or magnitude. ¿Cuál es su respuesta? Say. Size. Size. Number two. Repeat, please. A thing's overall dimensions or magnitude is... Size. 
Repeat, Francisco. Size. 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 Okay, excellent. Uh, Francisco, select somebody, please. Seleccione el próximo, Francisco. Okay. Veamos. Carla. Dale. Carla. Okay. Tenemos Carla y Esenia y tenemos a Carla. ¿Quién es la otra Carla? Carla, Carla y es. Carla. Beatriz. Beatriz. Okay. Carla Beatriz. Letter E. The space available for retention of something. Yes. Storage. 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 That would be number six. Thank you. Go ahead, Carla Beatrice. Select somebody, please. Okay. Arturo. Antonio. Arturo. Antonio. The next one, please. Arturo. Antonio. Letter F. Letter F. Um, sería I body, la F, ¿verdad? F, correct. A body's relative mass or the quantity contained by something. Sería uh, Function? Function? No. no. I don't know. Somebody have a different answer? No, I no. Somebody can help? Somebody help. Number Elmer? Two. Number two. Wait. Number two? Very two. good. Number two is wait. Wait. Okay, select somebody, please. Arturo, select somebody, please. Okay. Elmer Neftali. Elmer Neftali. Elmer Neftali. Um, number three. Six. Number three. 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 Price. Amount of money required. Or Paid for something. Price. Price. Excellent. Very good. The last one. Select somebody, please. Elmer Neftali. Select somebody for the last one. A. Yesenia, Yesenia Beatriz Mejia. Yesenia Beatriz Mejia. Letter H, Yesenia Beatriz Mejia. Numbers uh, seven. Huh? Seven. Number, Number seven. Number seven. Okay. Repeat, please. Function. 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 That's right. So, number four, no, letter A is four, letter B is eight, letter C is five, letter D is one, letter E is six, letter F 
is 2, letter G is 3, and letter H is 7. Everybody, please repeat. Size. 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 Weight. 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 Right. 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 Dimension. 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 Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. Battery life. this moment, uh, does anybody have any questions related to this information? Do you have any questions related to this information as far as like vocabulary, um, pronunciation, meaning of something? Anybody? No question? No. No. Everything is clear? Okay. Now we are going to do a pre-listening activity, shopping online. Now, for this activity, I would like for us to go to the first, uh, first link. I want you to notice in your student book, right here in the student book, you have a link. Do you see this link? Listen to a customer and a seller conversation. You, do you see the link? Yes, teacher. Okay. So these links are going to be for your practice. All right, I'm gonna put you on, on silence because I can hear somebody speaking on the phone or something. Okay. So we're gonna look at the first link. go to the link, we copy the link, we copy the link, we go to the internet and we paste the link like that. And we are going to be looking at the first activity. Estos links están allí para su uso, guys. No crea que los va a usar solo cuando yo le diga. Usted, si no entendió la actividad, usted lo puede ir a ver en su tiempo libre. Usted está haciendo cola. Y usted está haciendo cualquier cosa y tiene tiempo de hacerlo. Usted puede ir a los links. Now, the level of this link is easy. The topic is shopping malls. The speakers are a man and a girl. Right, we got easy shopping malls, a man and a girl, and the level, the length is one minute and ten seconds. So es un diálogo rápido, así que please pay attention. Now, before we look at the link, we're going to do a pre-listening activity. Everybody, look at the picture. Look at the picture. What do you see? Let me have a volunteer. What do you see in the picture? Kevin and la imagen. Alguien que le quite el silencio al micrófono. Customer. Very good, Mauricio. Customers. And Mauricio, tell me, 
what do you see in the customer's hands? What do you see in the customer's hands? ¿Qué ves en las manos de los customers? Mauricio. Tienes silencio el micrófono. Articles. Ah, ok. Estos se llaman shopping bags. Shopping bags. Shopping bags. Shopping bags. Shopping bags. Shopping bags. Mm -hmm. um, can somebody tell me what they are wearing? ¿Qué están vistiendo? Who can tell me? What are these people wearing? Blue jeans. Blue jeans. Very sure. good. Alguien. Yeah. Sure. Very good. Shoes. ¿Qué más? Jackets. 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 Okay. Bags. They got bags. Okay. Now I would like for us to look at the pre listening activity. Para esta actividad vamos a hacer una mini conversación. Now, repeat please. Everybody, repeat please. Shopping online. Shopping online. Shopping online. Or at local department stores. Or, or at a local department store. Is an activity. Is, is an activity. activity. Many people enjoy. Many, many people, people enjoy. enjoy. How often. How often. How often. Do you go shopping? Do you go shopping? shopping? For the following items. For the following items. And where do you buy them? And where, where do you, you buy, buy you buy items? Clothing. 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 Gifts for friends. Yes. Gifts for friends. Gifts for friends. Family. 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 Music. 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 DVD movies. DVD, 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 DVD movies. movies. Electronics. Electronics. Okay. Electronics. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Un voluntario. DVD movies. Okay. One volunteer. All right. Roxana. Thank you, Roxana. Please ask Mr. Santos the question. How often do you go shopping for the following items and where do you buy them? Go ahead, Roxana. Ask me the question. Que se lo lea. Please. Okay. Ask Mr. Santos the questions. Please. This is the shopping online. No, no, no. Only the questions. How often do you go okay. shopping? Okay, okay, okay. How often do you go shopping for the following items? Items. Items. I don't you. I think. Where, where do you? Items. I things. It things. Hmm? It things. Okay. Uh, um, where do you buy they? We think. Yeah, repeat. Buy. Buy. I. Buy. Like when you say buy, 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 buy. Okay. And here the pronunciation repeat often. 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 Right. Often. The letter T. We do. 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 We do.
don't pronounce the letter T. We say often. Often. That's right. So for the first example, um, we're talking about where do you buy the clothing? So I'm going to respond. I sometimes, sometimes mm -hmm. buy clothing at, uh, let's say, for example, Breshka. Breshka. Oh, the next one, gifts for friends and family. I usually buy gifts for friends and family at Sima. For example, um, music. I don't buy music. All right, so I could say, I never, <laughs> I never buy music. All right, I pay. Or Spotify. All right. Uh, Mauricio, you raise your hand. Mauricio? No. Ah, okay. Pensé que Error. Levantó la... Ah, okay. Si tienen preguntas, Error. guys, solo levanten esa manita y yo les voy a poder ayudar. Next one, DVD movies. I normally buy DVD movies at Sambers. Sambers. Electronics. I mm, occasionally, occasionally buy electronics at Radio Shack. So, you are going to answer the questions. Pueden usar eh, los ejemplos que voy a compartir con ustedes en el chat. O pueden usar sus propios ejemplos. Obviamente, los ejemplos que yo les he brindado son para que tengan una idea. Ah, mi amor, ¿sí? Tipo 12. Ok, Arturo, lo vamos a poner en silencio porque todo el mundo está escuchando sus mensajes. Ok, everybody, please repeat. I. I. Sometimes. I, sometimes. Sometimes. I, sometimes. Buy clothing. Buy clothing. At Bershka. At, at Bershka. Bershka. I usually, I, I, I usually, usually buy I gifts, gifts by gifts, by gifts. gifts. For friends for and friends. family, for, for friends, friends and, family. and family. family at Siman. At Siman. Siman. I never, I never, I never. I DVD movies. I never buy DVD movies. 
Justin Mobile. Ah, perdón. I normally. Mute. Oh, no, es I never buy I never music. Buy music. music. I never buy music. I pay I for Spotify. 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 I pay for Spotify. Spotify. Uh, I normally. I normally. I normally DVD movies at Samba. I DVD movies at Samba. I occasionally buy electronics at Radio Shack. Uh, ahora lo van a hacer ustedes, ¿verdad? Uno le va a hacer la pregunta, así como me las hizo Roxana, y el otro le va a responder. Ok, la pregunta era, How often do you buy gifts for friends and family? How often, acuérdense que la T no se pronuncia, how often do you buy clothing uh, how often, how often do you buy music Otra es, how often do you buy DVD movies? Right. Uh, how often do you buy All right. so le va a hacer la pregunta. Obviamente mis respuestas solo son ejemplos. Ustedes lo van a modificar uh, de tal manera que a usted le parezca. In pairs. Vamos a tener 10 minutos y después lo vamos a repasar en la sesión principal. Si termina, eh, vuelvo a practicar. Si termina, Vuélvalo a practicar. Y si termina, vuélvalo a practicar. La idea con esto es que usted pueda hacer las preguntas con fluidez. ¿Y cómo lo va a generar esa fluidez? Practice. 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 Thank you, Roxana. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Okay. Vamos a cambiar de parejas porque ya trabajaron con estas personas. Les voy a poner una pareja diferente. Así se van conociendo unos con los otros. Let's go. Oh, Eh, veo que Carlos Antonio no ha ingresado. Carlos Antonio, usted va a trabajar con Eric Melara. Y estoy viendo que Daniel Armando no ha entrado. Eh, usted está trabajando con Jesse Elizabeth y Arturo Antonio Monroy.
let me have two volunteers, please. Two volunteers, please. Okay. Carla Beatriz Morales Mendez levantó la mano. One more volunteer. Carla y... Carla Sel... Ah, Mauricio Efraín Torres Ventura. So, yes. Carla, oh, yeah. I want yeah. you to ask the questions. Okay. And Mauricio, I want you to respond to the questions. Okay. Okay. Mauricio, how often do you buy gifts or friends and the family? Um, I usually buy uh, gifts on my family and my friends online. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, do you buy it online? <laughs> like, I'm in quarantine. <laughs> Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> uh, do you buy it like on Amazon, on Service. eBay? Oh, oh, okay. Uh, okay. okay, excellent. eBay, uh, AliExpress, okay. um, AliExpress, play, play, uh, play to play, 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 play. To play. Play, play, so, play, play, wish. School for babies. School for babies. Oh, uh, you have babies? <laughs> Go babies. <laughs> um, Continue. Okay. Next question. How often do you buy clothing? Um... I buy clothing in Prisma Moa. Okay. But but okay. how often? Always, sometimes, never, usually. Uh, usually. 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 So you say I, I repeat I, I usually. 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 Usually, buy clothing. Buy clothing at Prisma Moda. At Prisma Moda. Okay. Excellent. Next. How often do you buy music? Uh, I never buy music. I. Membership. Um, YouTube. <laughs> okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. YouTube. Um, YouTube. YouTube Premium. Yeah. Sin anuncios comerciales. Oh, commercials. That's right. right. <laughs> Okay. How often do you buy DVD movies? I never buy DVD movies. I have membership Netflix. Wow. Very connected. <laughs> That's cool. How do you say genial? Cool. Great. That's cool. Cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Okay. Now, stop right there. Now, uh, Mauricio, please ask the questions and Carla respond. Okay. Okay. Ha Carla, how often do you go shopping for the following items? 
Um, where do you buy thing clothing? Clothing. I usually buy clothing at Expose. Okay. Ah, spouse es su esposo. ¿Ah? Spouse, ¿qué es spouse? Expose es una tienda de ropa. Bueno, pues. Ah, expose. <risa> expose. Ah, yo escuché spouse. La palabra no. spouse quiere decir esposo o esposa. Se lo no. voy a escribir. S P O U S spouse. Pause. Um, expose. <laughs> expose. Ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Continue. Okay. How, uh, Carla, how often do you go shopping for the following it items? Um, where do you buy Item. them? Items. Pardon. Items. And where do you buy them? Uh, gift for friend and family. Mm. Friends. Friends. Uh, friends friends. Friends. Right. Ahí no es free ends, es fre, friends. Es una friends. E, friends. Friends. Se escribe, con, se escribe con I, pero se pronuncia como una E. Friends. Lo aprendí friends. Más. Friends. 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 Uh -huh. friends. Okay. Friends. How often do you go shopping for the following item and where do you buy things? Gift for friend and family? I sometimes buy gift for friends and family at Bomba. You <laughs> take <laughs> <like> a dollar city. Two. <laughs> 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 no, no, tú no, also. Also, ah, also. Also. Tú es como cuando vos decís, por ejemplo, yo te digo, I like hamburgers. Y tú me quieres decir yo también. Ahí ah. vos decís, me too. Pero en este caso, tú, dij, tú dijiste, es bomba y. Eh, ¿Cuál es la otra? Ah. Sí. Dollar City. Dollar City. Ajá. Dollar. So, y en este caso va a decir, eh, él dice, tú decís, I buy at Bomba. Y él dijo, en Dollar City. And you say, ah, also Dollar City. ¿Cómo se escribe? Also is A-L-S-O. A-L-S-O. Also. Ah, uh, ok. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, stop Have right there. Stop right there. Just, just do what tenemos que continuar okay. porque nos quedan siete minutos. Okay. Y quiero que lleguemos a la siguiente parte. Applause for eh, Mauricio and Carla. Applause. Good job. Woo. Excellent work, guys. Good job. Good job. A very nice pronunciation. I like your pronunciation. It's very clear, very understandable. All right. Y eso se adquiere a través de la práctica. Now, we're going to look at a save for a rainy day. Estos son idioms. A dime a dozen. ¿Quién me puede decir qué quiere decir idioms? ¿Qué son idioms? ¿Qué es un idiom? Idioms. Idioms son modismos. Ok. Modismos. Por ejemplo, nosotros en español decimos tal el palo, tal estilla. Quiere decir igualito al papá o igualito a la mamá. O digamos... Cuando las vacas huelen, quiere decir nunca, ¿verdad? O está lloviendo sapos y ranas, quiere decir que está lloviendo muy fuerte. Si sí, Marvin levantó su mano, dígame Marvin. But, uh, and that word is like slams? Not slang, no, slang no. Eh, more like eh, phrases. Oh, okay. 
Ajá, esos son idioms, right? Literalmente dicen una cosa, pero significan otra. All right? Esos son idioms, frases que tienen como doble sentido. Sí. Okay, repeat please. Save for a rainy day. Save for, for a rainy day. Save for a rainy day. Save something. Save something, something, something for the future. For the, the future. future. When it is needed. When, when it is needed. When it is needed. Right. So cuando tú decís save for a rainy day, es que lo estás guardando para un día que lo necesites. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros decimos, tengo allí algo debajo del colchón. No quiere decir que literalmente lo tenés debajo de un colchón. Es verdad, obvio. Lo tenés guardado para una emergencia. Eso quiere decir save for a rainy day. Ahora, la otra. A dime a dozen. 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 A dozen. Right? A dime a dozen. Very common. Very, very common. common. Very common. Very common. Usually inexpensive. Usually inexpensive. inexpensive. And easy to find. So cuando tú decís vienen a dime a dozen, vienen a dime a dozen, quiere decir que es algo común, algo barato, algo que lo puedes encontrar en cualquier lugar, right? Eso es a dime a dozen. Por ejemplo, un, un diamante azul puede ser a dime a dozen? No. No. Right? Los diamantes azules son exóticos, esos no se ven no se ven comúnmente. Eh, ¿Las perlas son a dime a dozen? No. 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 Las perlas no son a dime a dozen. Tal vez las falsas que ves tú allí en cualquier tienda, <risa> pero las que son reales, reales, no son. Valen miles de dólares. Ok, guys. Eh, your homework. Your homework is going to be give me one sentence. Me van a dar una oración. Utilizando este idiom, aquí están unos ejemplos, y este idiom, y aquí está un ejemplo, y también me van a hacer este audio, van a escuchar el audio y van a hacer las respuestas, van a escuchar el audio y lo van a responder, eso les va a quedar de tarea, y también Vamos a completar en el student book. Eh, vamos a re, van a repasar esta sección porque es lo que vamos a continuar mañana. How okay. much? Y how, how many? many? Y vamos a trabajar los ejercicios. Okay, guys. Ha sido un gusto okay. trabajar con ustedes. Por favor, no falte de su clase ok no 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 okay. puedo enfatizar que no falte su clase porque es la única manera que vamos a poder hacer este proyecto que sea un éxito para ustedes y para nosotros ok ok bye guys good night bye 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 b